Hey guys, Ham Solo here. Kilo Zero Foxtrot Yankee Romeo or in GMRS World WRMV 759. Uh, I just saw last night that there is a new uh, repeater for GMRS down here in Colorado Springs. Uh, I've come down the hill from on high and now I'm only at about a mile uh, above sea level. And so I am going to try and see uh, the, uh, I guess what the range is on this new GMRS repeater. Uh, coming down here to go uh, to uh, one of the great burger places in the world, which is going to be Whataburger, or What a Burger, if you don't uh, aren't familiar. And uh, it is a Texas treat, and I am from originally from Texas, and so they have just built a Whataburger up here in Colorado Springs. Going there for lunch, and on the way, I'm going to be doing some range tests on the new uh, GMRS repeater here in the Springs. And so stay tuned. Okay, first range test. This is gonna be within a half mile, should be of wherever this new repeater is. Uh, half mile to a mile. So let's see uh, how this goes. WRMV 759 on the new Metro 700 repeater. WRMV 759 radio test. 759 WRKA 791. Man, you sound really clear. Oh, that's good. I hope so. I'm actually at the uh, turnoff at Manitou Springs, so I'm probably only half mile from your uh, repeater. Oh, yeah, that would explain it. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're crystal clear, man. You might as well be sitting out my front porch. <laughs> All right, well, if you don't mind, uh, I'm going to be checking that repeater. I'm going up to InterQuest to go get uh, Whataburger, so uh, I'll be checking it along the way if you don't have a problem with that. Absolutely not. Check away. I'll keep a handheld on, and uh, let me know what the Whataburger line looks like, because, damn, that sounds good now. <laughs> yeah, Roger, Roger. I'm originally from San Antonio, so... Uh, as soon as they got that built, I think we've already been there about four times. Oh, that's a big 42 on that. I'm from uh, Killer, Texas, up by Dallas, Fort Worth. Whataburger was my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, I'm going to pick up my son, and then we're going to head that way. Uh, I might call uh, maybe every two or three exits. Uh, back to the radio. If I start getting too far away, I'm going to also put a telescopic antenna on top of this radio. Oh, stop. Yeah, you can get a little bit. Uh, what kind of radio are you on? Uh, this is the Ocean uh, KG916. That. Um, the only thing you might find, and I've done some testing up and down uh, I-25, any of the dips or bridges will interfere uh, pretty decent, but as long as you're on uh, like a main stretch or anywhere out in the open, uh, I've been able to reach it all the way from Bass Pro Shop. Oh wow, goodness! Yeah, that should be pretty cool. All right, uh, well let me uh, let me get going, and then uh, I'll start calling back and uh, see how it goes. I'm recording all this for YouTube. Copy that. Yes, sir. I will be right here by an HD. All right. Appreciate it. Uh, WRMV 759. Uh, I'll be calling back. WRKA 791. I'll be monitoring. All right. This is going to be the uh, second uh, distance test. This might be a mile or two. I'll look it up uh, when I get a chance. WRMV 759 on the Metro 700 uh, with a radio check. Uh, this is WRMV 791. There's a little bit of scratch, but I can still hear you. Probably three out of five. All right, received. Yeah, this is at. Uh, I'm just past Garden of the Gods on 25, and so I'm in the vehicle moving, and so. That might explain some of it, but uh, I'll check again once I get up past Woodman. Okay, 
Uh-oh. All right, uh, I'm approaching uh, Woodman here in probably another mile. And so uh, it was pretty choppy at that point. Uh, come back. Copy you at Woodman and copy the other. All right, WRMV 759 at uh, Briargate Parkway in 25. Copy that, Briargate Parkway and I-25, your signal has improved, uh, four to five. Yeah, Roger, Roger, you're nice and clear now too. It just might've been all the, uh, all the buildings and infrastructure there off of uh, Garden of the Gods area. There's a, there's about a mile period there too where you're semi-shaded from where the repeater's located. Uh, so it gets a little bit spotty if you're if you're under about 20 watts. Yeah, Roger. I think this handheld only does uh, five, and so uh, about to take the Interquest Parkway exit, and uh, I'll uh, try again once I get up to the uh, water burger. Good copy on that, and uh, a great big thank you for now making my wife say she wants water burger too. We may have to head up that way. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Nothing like the uh, patty melt with grilled jalapenos. <laughs> Dr. Pepper shake. She'll kill me over. All right, just showed up to the parking lot. Again, I'm going to measure the distance uh, when I get a chance. Uh, but let me try again. WRMV 759 uh, doing a radio check from the parking lot of Whataburger. Copy that. Parking lot of the Whataburger. Um, it's real scratchy. Two out of five. Uh, but I can't hear you. I can't understand you. Uh, received. Two out of five. A uh, little scratchy. You're clear as a bell. And so this is the uh, original stubby antenna. Uh, I'm sorry, the rubber duck that comes with the radio. And so give me just a second. I want to try a 5.8 uh, uh, telescopic. Good copy all the way up to rubber duck antenna, and then it really buzzed out for the rest. All right, going to try again. Uh, just put on the 5.8 uh, wave telescopic antenna on the top of the KG916. All right, this is WRMB 759 with a different antenna. How's this sound? That sounds better. Uh, two and a half out of five, maybe three out of five on occasion. Uh, definitely better than the rubber duck. Received. I think this is supposed to be a 6 dB gain, uh, 5 8 wave telescopic antenna. I'm thinking of, I've, I've seen you use it much better antenna for sure all right received uh, the lines only about uh, four people outside so we're gonna go ahead and get it in and uh, I'll give you a call back uh, when we get done Good copy on that I will be standing by uh, and in case I don't mention it later welcome back to Colorado follow the adventures and love them <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to be in uh, San Diego next week, and so uh, see if I can try some different stuff over there. Fantastic. Can't wait to see you, sir. <laughs> right. I don't know how uh, windy it sounds on the, uh, on the recording. Uh, this is the uh, basically the flight line for the Air Force Academy. is right here behind me. And uh, I know this one has been uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 11 miles uh, from... Uh, that last uh, travel repeater and so this one should be about the same distance so let me go ahead and call on that and see if I can get a response WRMV 759 uh, this is from the Air Force Academy uh, overlook at the airfield uh, it's feeling really broken and static I can just make your call sign in the Air Force Academy Yeah, Roger, I'm using that 5 8 wave, and I'm standing out here uh, where the overlook is at the flight line. Copy 
copied that nice and clear. If you turned or whatever you did, it uh, it suddenly gave you a nice and clear copy that on the flight line. Yeah, sorry, I might have had the wrong distance on that telescoping antenna. How's this now? That's five out of five, crystal clear. Yeah, roger, roger. I pulled up the antenna too high, <laughs> put it back down to 5 8 wave. And so uh, this will probably be the last test I do. I got to head back up to the house, uh, but I appreciate it. And uh, and uh, at least we're getting, what, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 11 miles over here by the, uh, the overlook at the Air Force Academy. I think that's about 12 miles uh, as the crow fly. It sounds good, especially for being on a handheld. Uh, I'm very, very pleased with that. Yeah, no, thank you for the repeater use. Uh, I really enjoy it every time I get the chance to come down. And I guess I'll give you a shout later. This is WRMV 759. Copy that. Uh, you're entirely welcome. Uh, WRKA 791. I will be monitoring. Well, there you go. He's saying upwards of 12 miles. Uh, crystal clear once I put the, put the antenna in the right, uh, the right position. Uh, if you go back to uh, my previous videos when I first take this antenna out, uh, they have it crimped. The last two sections are crimped uh, so that you can use it as a 5 8 wave for GMRS. And I pulled really hard on it, pulled it out of the crimp, and uh, now I forget uh, every now and then I got to tap it back down uh, the two sections to go to where it's supposed to be 5 8 waves for a GMRS. But handheld, 5 watts, telescopic antenna doing 11 to 12 miles to his repeater crystal clear i appreciate you watching this is ham solo k0 fyr or wrmv 759 saying 73